two minutes, how to make a t-shirt into a bro tank. In this guide, we will make the narrow-shouldered bro tank, kind of like the uh, wife beater shirt and not like the ones I like to make that are a little more wider on the shoulders. You will start out with your t-shirt and you will mark with the marker how far you want the seam to go. Lay the t-shirt out flat and you could also use another top to measure it. Um, I eyeballed it from experience. Remember to let out leave an inch for curling cloth, cut in a 90 degree angle, curve the cut up for about an inch, take the scissors out, cut to one side at a time. Generally you want to cut about an inch from the seam, or it, you could always cut less and leave room for error, compare one sleeve to the other. Here's your 90 degree cut, here's your curved cut for both sides, you're sticking the scissors in, you're just cutting up, cutting up the other side. Always cut one side at once except for the initial part, the initial part you do the way you do because you don't want it to rip open. Uh, here I'm cutting the shoulder seam a little further back. Make a hole, stick the scissors in, cut the collar off. You can cut the collar at the seam. I went right ahead and cut about a half inch past the seam in the front. You always cut the back at the seam. Cut at the seam and then cut more if you need. Here I'm stretching it, stretch the back, stretch the front, stretch the side, stretch the straps, everything. Um, cloth curls over a lot in this process. I find out that actually the sides were perfect, even though they looked like they were too wide. And the top, I was going to do a little bit of modification to the shoulder. Nothing major. I actually nailed it. See how much it curled over. Um, generally, as a rule, cut less and then go back and cut more. You can always cut more off. You can't put more back on. It's okay. Here, um, see that? That means that the, uh, the shirt was cut rough and it just curled right over. You now have a bro tank.